teams get in their mindset that they just want to be the best in the city. You know what I mean? When you actually get that exposure to go play teams that's down in, in Ohio, Pennsylvania, any of that, that's always better. Because now you get your kid getting that national exposure. You know what you look like against able, the best kids in the country. Absolutely. See, to me, to me, that's the difference between the AYF and PAL. Don't get me wrong, I love PAL and where PAL came from and what it did for me, but that national exposure is just wonderful. It's great. Mm -hmm. Kids feel like they're doing something different. Okay. Hey, pal, like you say, Powell was good 15, 15, 16 years ago. I mean, nowadays, so much technology and stuff, you want to get your name out there. I mean, right. I, with the AYFL, I, I'm, I don't know, man. I, I, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. Yeah, Powell was good when they first, when they originally started, when they had like the... The police really involved, oh, man. man. Like they let a bunch of yeah. I think that's when the league went down. Yeah, the league started going down when they stopped. They lost sight of what how they started and, and what they were trying to do. But you know, hopefully they will come back, man. You know, I don't got nothing bad to say about them over there. You never know what the future holds, hey, man. Hey, on my level, my kids are are tend to play better in high school because they feel like they playing in high school already. See? You know what I'm saying? An unlimited way. You know, it, it you get playing them a real position that right. you, you know, really play. Right, you know, get them prepared for, for right. what's to come. We got Tony O'Case over here. Man, we loaded. We, 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 we steady taking applications. Yeah. I mean, we, we that's okay. one thing about our program. We steady building, man. If you're a good coach, got a good coaching effort, you, you love the kids, man, you work hard, we want you over here. If you're a good cheerleader coach, if you're a good, I mean, good parent, if, you, if you're a kid that feel like you're getting overlooked, you're not getting your shot, it's a place. It's, it's definitely the place to be, man. It's, it's, it's pretty room. It's, it's room for growth over here. You definitely can grow over here. Eight mile hope. Eight mile hope. You really, you ain't gotta be a good like X's and O's to be X's and O's coach. As long as you're a good person, good character, you know we can learn the X's and O's together. We all grow. We all build. It's only our second year, so I mean, if you willing to dedicate, hard work and dedication. Yeah. Mm. You want to inspire the little kids too. Yeah, it's You got that? I want <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get that. <laughs> so we definitely, you know, Bulldogs not hiring. And one thing about us, though, we keep it simple, man. It's, it's all about the kids. Yeah, definitely. You know, See, a lot of programs say that, though, they man. Say that, they but they say that, but you look at them folding because people stealing money and this, that, and the third. Like, Kids, you know, it, 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 we really are about the kids. You know, Cause we got kids on this team, like our sons and nephews and you and know nieces right. and stuff right. are a part of this organization. So at the end of the day, we gotta make sure we take care of them. That's why y'all did the bulldog. Yeah, definitely. So for the kids, man, exactly. For the kids, we all we all work, entrepreneurs, whatever, nine to five. We don't have to steal no money. We don't none of that. We put back to the program, man, for the kids. Yeah, that's probably why we got the fastest growing pro program in the, in the city. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We want the team to stay a threat. All these teams that think they riding high right now, we, they know we 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 coming. We on. We got what two benefit games coming up? Yeah, we got two benefit games. Um, we got the Lions. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we'll do that August tenth. And we got um battle for the cup. We're gonna do some AYF UYF. You know, show them you have boys, how they will get down, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do that with the Milan Tigers. Okay. Yeah, the foul team want to scrimmage or something, you know. We keep behind closed doors. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's up to them if they want some work. We'll, we'll, we'll scrimmage anybody, you know. We don't, it don't matter. 
You play anybody, but you really hit that ball. August twenty fourth, though, we got uh, <laughs> the Violent Tigers on the, on, the, on the benefit game schedule. And that's the first AYF versus UYF, right? Yeah, yeah. they want to see it, so we gonna give them to them. Yeah. I mean, about, about eight mile, we both on eight miles. But I, I think that's good for both programs. I think it's good for both leagues, though. You know what I mean? To, to show that we can come together and, and unite and do what's right for the kids. Because yeah. everybody says it's always for the kids, <laughs> but you know everybody want to keep everybody separated from playing each other. But if it's good exposure for the kids, it's good exposure for the kids, whether it's AYFL or UYFL or PAL or whatever. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Ain't no starting from the bottom, baby. We already in here. Yeah. We bleed to feed. <laughs> hey. Big shout out to the big homie Antonio Gates, too, man. Absolutely. He, oh, yeah. he helped us out a lot, man. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't get a chance to really see him, but he do a lot for the program. Not just a name, like he, he give back to the kid. Contrary to what people may believe, he big on giving back to his community that he comes from. Man. So I, I had to get that out. Because there's a lot of rumors and stuff about who he is, but he, he, a, he a good person, man. Good dude. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, man. I had a discussion with somebody about that. Somebody said that? Somebody said yeah, what? he was the first ballot. Crazy. We got the Hall of Fame. This is the Kent State Hall of Fame right here, basketball O T. Yeah, that's what we do, man. He 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 started out as a basketball player. He kinda changed the changed the whole way the NFL go get Go Tight get players end. now. You know what I'm saying? They look at basketball. That's that's basically what we do with the Bulldogs. We we change things. Like we don't just follow Innovative. footsteps. We you know we trendsetters. We trailblazers. So we 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 kind of changing the way you football is looked at, man. We we look for hybrid players now. That's what we look for. <laughs> and on the organizational side, though, like we setting a standard to where a lot of these teams can't get away with a lot of stuff they're doing. Can't be putting t-shirts on the kids in practice and then we come scrimmage all and we got these nice practice jerseys all because we putting back into our program. Like we, we setting the bar kind of high for a lot of these programs. So at the end of the day, it's all good because it's helping the kids out. But, you know, going back to what I was saying, we we, we not following nobody's footsteps. Yeah, if you're going to have a banquet, you better make sure it's top yeah. of line banquet. Because ours is the top of line. We believe in top we of line everything. Line. If you a parent, you you know you want your kid to play ball. I, you know, I, when I was growing up, my mother, you know, I could play ball, but a lot of times she didn't have the money, so you know, she had to do the best she could. So what we do over here with the Bulldogs is, you know, somehow your kid got to be accountable for something. So if you guys don't have the money to pay, but the kid is doing good in school, and you feel like you know. You want your kid to play, you know, bring us a report card. We got scholarship programs over here with us, you know. Get the play for free. Thanks to City Ballers, we hit.